with a tool that we that we recently developed and we uh, we developed uh, at, at uh, TLU and which we also presented at the WordPress camp. It was mainly uh, in the first instance a technology study. Let's say how do we how can we connect WordPress to the social semantic server, not only conceptually but really doing it. Yes. So this is what we did, and there's a there's a number of scenarios around it. So our first idea was that the scenario could be to connect formal and informal learning. So basically you start off from a kind of a classroom or training situation where you get an exercise that you do in the classroom, but you also do the same exercise at your real workplace. You collect further materials uh, and so on that, that, that are in your workplace. And then at the end you want to put everything together into one nice document, into one nice reflection and present it to your to your teacher as kind of a evidence for, for, for your learning. There's other scenarios like putting together learning content from your real workplace. Yeah? So you walk around your workplace, you, you capture different things that, that you find important, and at one point you want to put them together to form a little learning uh, unit for your students. Or putting together your personal learning portfolio. That could be in the workplace. So you have gathered with Evernote with bits and pieces your stuff. At some point you want to make a nice article about it, about a certain topic that you want to give to your, to your um, revalidation person and uh, to show that you, have, that you have learned something. So the, the prerequisite of this is that you have some resources collected with any tool from the Learning Layers ecosystem, Evernote, Arso, NoBrain, any other tool. And that these resources are then available in the social semantic server with text and in collections. So this is the prerequisite. Could happen, for example, by uh, by using Evernote. Okay, and then the idea is that you use the WordPress block for basically packaging those resources as a reflection or as a other type of. Uh... Okay, so here's what it basically does. If you know WordPress, then most of it is well known to you. Everything. Uh, around here is just a normal WordPress uh, blogging platform and you write your post uh, so for example your reflection about your learning and what you see here is basically attacher and you can access the collections that you have that you have collected together and it displays the tags that um, you have used in those co collections so you can use for you can for example choose another collection WordPress you see the tags that were used and the resources that uh, were tagged this way. Uh, then you can filter by using some using a tag. Filter, get only those resources you really need. Drag and drop uh, one of those resources into your blog. Uh, publish your blog. Of course, you can write more things about it and collect more uh, po uh, posts. And then you have a post that includes uh, a link to this document that you have uh, collected elsewhere. And uh, this is also then connected to the social semantic server. It means this new resource here, this new post, is also uh, a connection between this and the, and the other resource is established and, and you are um, basically, um, and the connection to, to you as, a, as an author is, is established. So this was a very, very quick, uh, let's say, trial and it worked very well. It was. I think two weeks uh, of of, of uh, really doing it, so it can be done very quickly, and uh, this should encourage others to um, also um, yes do similar things. All right. We we suggested a different more sexy name. To the yeah, yeah, I <laughs> I know. I, I I kept it as a tetra now, so because most people know it. <laughs> <laughs>